chapter 2. My son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. In the things that you've heard me say, in the presence of many witnesses, entrust to reliable men who will also be qualified to teach others. Endure hardship with us like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Noah serving as a soldier gets involved in civilian affairs. He wants to please his commanding officers. Similarly, if anyone competes as an athlete, he does not receive the big first round unless he competes according to the rules. The hardworking farmer should be the first to receive a share of the crops. Reflect on what I'm saying, for the Lord will give you insight into all this. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, descended from David. That is my gospel, for which I am suffering, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained, and therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Here is a trustworthy saying, If we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, he will also reign with him. We will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will disown us. If we are faithless, he will remain faithful, for he cannot disown himself. Keep reminding them of these things, and warn them before God against quarreling about words. It is of no value and only ruins those who listen. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved. A workman who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Avoid godless chatter, because those who, in, who are involved in it will only become more ungodly. Their teaching will spread like gangrene. Among them are Hananias and Philetus, who have wandered away from the faith. They say that the resurrection has already taken place, and they destroy the faith of some. Nevertheless, God's solid foundation stands firm, sealed with this inscription. The Lord knows those who are His, and everyone who wants to who calls on the name of the Lord must turn away from wickedness. In a large house, there are articles not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some are for noble purposes and some for ignoble. If a man cleanses himself from the latter, he will be an instrument for noble purposes, made holy, useful to the master, and prepared to do any good work. Flee the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace. Along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Don't do anything with foolish and stupid arguments because you know that it only produces quarrels. And the Lord's servants must not quarrel. Instead, he must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. Those who oppose him, he must gently instruct, in the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth. And that they will come to their senses and escape from the trap of the devil, who has taken them captive to do his will. Second Timothy chapter 2.